We should be live, Rebana. All right, let's tweet the link out. A hey. welcome, people of the world. It has been quite some time. I'm just checking to make sure I've got this card muted. I do not. Ah. See, that could have been a bit of an issue if I'm just sitting here trying to talk in Discord going bleep, 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 bleep. It could have very well been an issue. So, how have you all been? It has been quite some time. World of Twitch. World of YouTube. Because as, as always, until my little old ban has been revoked... I will, of course, be streaming exclusively on Twitch and then uploading the VOD to... Why is it category medieval? I set it to Portal 2! Good lord! Good gravy man. Right, let me copy this. It's time for me to copy this. I hope you're all well, by the way. It has been quite a while since I last did a stream. I was meant to do one yesterday, but I was like, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't feel up for it. So let me just do this. Uh, stream move. Alrighty, I believe there's there's like another. Place I can post this, I think. Wap, 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 wap. All right. Hope you're all doing well. Oh my goodness. Alrighty. I hope you're all doing well. So, this is Portal V Loaded. It literally came out, what, a couple of days ago, give or take. I can't quite remember when it came out. But it is the newest, uh, to my knowledge, the newest overhaul mod for Portal. The last one that I that I had on the channel was Portal Stories Mel. So with that, I never thought I'd ever get into Portal when I first started doing all of this. It's, it's just so surreal. But just just like um, watching a film, I. W just like watching a film, I played the sequels first. Um, Back to the Future, sequel first. Uh, Fantastic Beast and Way to Find Him, sequel first. Terminator, sequel first. All of that, sequel first. I've, I've, it's been a constant uh, thing in my life where I've seen the sequel, seen and or played sequels first before playing the original. Um, very, very few game or very few games where I've actually played the sequel first. GTA was also one of the games I didn't play. Well, I played the sequel first. I played GTA 2 before GTA 1. And I still own GTA 2 and GTA 1 on PS1. They weren't like crap, but they're still there. Anywho, let me check Mike's settings. Does the microphone sound good, mind comrade? Microphone should be alright. Anyway. I have wasted enough of your time. Four minutes in, nay portalin. So, I'm going into this fresh. I don't know what the game sounds like. I don't know the abilities that are in the game except for one. The biggest addition is time travel. So you're going to have a bit of cause and effect and all that stuff. I was wondering why the audio was being picked up and I couldn't pick up. 
Alright, uh, audio. Oh! The hell? Ooh! We also want a subtitle. We want full captions as well. I like my captions. Alrighty, I believe we have a thing to do. I'm just making sure the PC is not too hot. Alright, so this is Portal Reloaded, and I think it's time for us to shop Boogie on into it. New game. So we have. I'll, we have 12 chapters to do. Ooh! And we can also. Select or subtitle language. Play the game with English sub then it was mmm. Yes, please. So we're gonna start a new game. Select. And it's just gonna put us in. Ooh. I like that. So the only th yeah, the only thing I know about this is time travel. Going into it, time travel. And I'm a I'm a I'm kind of a big connoisseur for time travel and things like that. Subject four five zero nine. You have been in stasis for sixteen days and, and four days. Oh, wait, is my game resolution off? Uh, let's sort that out real quick. PC game capture. Hey, that should be it. But that green line's bothering me now. Hey. Look at all the other people around here! Federal regulations require us to, to inform you, that the test testing ahead may result in slight cases of sore, sore throat. Or, or bloody vision, blurry vision. Or death. death. Yeah, no, this is sticking to portal humor. Side effects. Please do not hesitate to write them down in your test report. Wait, so death is a side effect? Okay. Oh, um... You've got, you've got your uh, test results to write down. Or your test report to write down. Uh, what side effects did you get? Oh, I had a slight headache, I had a sore wrist, and I had a, a brief case of death. As always, I forgot to put the monitor down. Like, why? I know it's like uh, Aperture Labs humor, but why? Why? Like, why death? Why is death like that? But me. Oh my goodness. So, yes, we, we just got past the intro cutscene if you knew all this. <laughs> uh huh, hiccups a wee bit. Terrible, I don't like it. Hey, that's it. this reminds me of like the intro right of Half Life 2. Oh, wait, companion cubes! Hey, sweet. I like them. Alright. Let's see what's gonna happen. Because I don't know what the courses are like. I, aside from time travel, I know nothing about this. I know it's a mod, obviously. I, I, I dabble in mods literally all the time. I've even made a few. Welcome to the Enrichment Center. These are made messages will gauge you through your test today. Okay. Program to open in approximately twenty years. Okay. This test can be solved in two different ways. Option one. Patiently. Patiently. Oh. Option two. Time travel to the future. Oh. Uh, can I put the loading with that, please? The enrichment center will provide you the means to pursue that option. The time portal will open, and testing will begin in three, uh, two, one. Oh, hey, that's kind of nice. Wait, so it wants me to go twenty years into the future? Okay. Sensors indicate. Welcome to the future. Sensors indicate. Ah, uh, uh, ah. Okay. In 
order to help you distinguish so this could be because the fact where you travel the past into the future and all that has been left untouched for the last 20 years uh okay okay don't worry. What? The enrichment center is designed to withstand centuries without proper maintenance. Sure. Ah. Okay. I think I'm going to adjust the volume ever so slightly for you guys. Give me a second. Let's do this. Hey, love to see you. Alright, so we're not allowed to drink anything, we're not allowed to try and eat a companion cube, or drop a companion cube, or stand underneath a companion cube, and there's a risk of being crushed and or death. Alright, we're going to open the door, it's going to take us back to the past. Welcome back to the present. present. If you are unsure which timeline you're in, simply observe your environment. The present should always look a bit cleaner. Oh... Oh, the savagery. Ah, uh, what's this? What? Oh. I thought there was an extra bit of a puzzle because there's this thing here. That must be for advanced mode or something. Because I bet there is an advanced mode for this. I wouldn't be surprised. The subject teleportation device will dematerialize your body and rematerialize it in the next test chamber. Ooh! This process is absolutely safe. Usually. Usually. What do you mean usually? Also, awesome. I'm going to turn off subtitles now. Ah, uh, video. Oh, can we not? Oh, ah, uh, Jage. Whatever. Ah, uh, exit to main menu. Actually, we'll do that next. We'll do that next. Hey, that's kind of neat. That's kind of neat. A instead of like going through the the pod or the the elevator from like uh, Mel's and Portal Two, you're dematerialized. You're, you're disappearing and reappearing. Each particle of your body is broken down and shifted somewhere else, and then you're Reconstruct it back together again. We're gonna go to the main menu because all oh, saves the thing. And I'm gonna turn off subtitles. It's time for me to do this. Uh... Am I forgetting something? Video. You... Hey, where's my subtitle options? Ah, ah, ah. I've got you. Audio. Why is subtitles in audio? I don't even have to leave for this. Yeah, let's not do subtitles. We don't need them. Reload it. Ah, continue playing. Portal reloaded. Thinking in the fourth dimension. Or thinking fourth dimension. Okay. These next chambers will involve cube and button-based testing. Okay, button-based testing. Oh. A mouse is a wee bit on the sensitive side, so... Uh. Alright, let's, let's, let's see what's happening next, right. Cube, give, give, thank you. Hey. Oh, that's clean. In the present will automatically update the location of the same cube in the future. Nice try, but bringing a present cube to the future violates the laws of causality and is therefore impossible. So if I place this here uh, and go to the future, the cube should still be there. Hey! This future version of the cube can be moved for good. Please continue to the next chamber. Wait, do I have to go back? Oh no, that's because it's in the past. Uh, the door won't be open. Okay. Uh, is it going to take me back to the past? That's interesting. Oh. Simply put, everything you do in the present has an impact on the future, but not the other way around. 
and intriguing. Are you going to put me back to the past yet, though? Uh, what? Did I screw up? No, I didn't. Okay. Right, so we need two cubes, which we grab from here. Can we not just take them and go to the past and be like... Yeah, we can. That's, what, that's how we do it. Okay, okay. So we grab a cube from the future, bring it to the past. What? Nanny? My cube disappeared! I'll take this. Good thinking. I don't know why the cube disappeared. To the future, this clever trick. However, though, have two versions of the same cube in one timeline. This hey. will be very useful in future chambers. Of course, it's going to be useful in future chambers. Also, because of how rapidly I've been moving the camera around, I'm like confused. It's kind of annoying. <sighs> oh, the computer's nice and cool, actually. So, cube, go to the future, do a thing. Bada bang, bada boom. Give. Thank you. Hell, righty. I've locked the game to 60 FPS. I don't have. Ah, ah I forgot about that. Lupty. So essentially, what they want me to do is get the cube here, grab, and then take it back to the past, and use the past to solve the future. Kind of. It's not how that one's going to work. I can tell you that much. Ah. Uh... Right. I'm guessing they want me to try and solve it in the future, I think. I mean, it is kind of interesting as a concept. But this one's already hard. <laughs> Uh, to the point that it's humorous. Okay. I think we want to get a future cube. Bring it to the past. And set it down. We need to get that to break to lower us up. Or to put us up there. Why does that break it? Ah. The time travel st the time travel stuff's already uh not making much sense. It makes sense in the context that you can create errors by taking stuff from the past to the future, but not, not in reverse. Yeah. Hmm. All right. This one's got me just a little bit stumped, maybe because my brain is not working today. I'll uh, put this here. It should be in the future if it was left alone. Nanny? 
That makes no sense because in the future the cube should be there, but it's not. So it's like, ah. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I will have this. Thank you. So we need a cube to be up there. And for one to be down here as well. I already hate this. So we need a, we need a past cube to be here. I might be a bit of an idiot when it comes to this, but that's what it is. Yeah, so we need to open the door. We need to put a cube on that, which is where the pa uh, present and the future is. We don't have a portal gun, so we can't really be like pew pew or pew pew and just we. No, 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 we can't do that. Oh, wait a minute. We could do this. Oh! My deck. Yeah, the, the cube that spawned in the past will be in the future. But the cube that spawned in the future and taken to the past... Nanny... That's some bullshit. Hey! Love to see it. We got it worked out. Pe picking it up because an error in the timeline and kill us the box. Future version of that object will be affected as well. If this sounds too complicated, you're in luck. And the next chamber will only heavily rely on your understanding of this very basic concept. Okay. Right. So we have this room here. We can't. Why can't we get up there? Ah, oh, that's annoying. Okay, okay, so this one is slanted. It's going to revolve around us taking an object from the future to the past across an event. So let's do that. Let's grab this. I. What does it do here first of all? What should do that? Does that. Right. And then what's up here? Because you have to. Oh my goodness. It's another one of these puzzles, but you need... Yeah, so that line lights up when there's nothing on the button. So we need to do a thing. And I'm going to be a bit of a dick about it. Okay. So, future cube. We could do it this way if we wanted to. Oh. Ha ha ha. It's actually not the way they want you to do it. The way they want you to do it. Is to bring a pa um a future um uh, a thingy cube. Alley up. The way you bring this, I think. Oh, I thought we had a, a crash there. Oh. Oh. They want us to do this, I believe. Hey, 
Yes. That's what they want us to do. Okay. So the QB1 is over there. So we can do whatever we want with the cube. Which is going to be a bit interesting. Um, let's see what we do. What happens if we do this? Ah! Love to see it. So that cube still exists in the past. So this is past cube. This is past cube. It looks nice. It looks very nice. Jump. We need... Okay, so this is past cube. We can't take it to the future. However, we can spawn one in the future. I've got a bit of an idea. Ah! <laughs> it's up there now! Ah! <laughs> uh... We have it, we have it. Oh, did it die in the past? No, it didn't. Hey, we can do this. This is easy. This is easy. Watch this, watch this. If we drop this here, and we climb up, and then pick this up, that cube dies, and then we can do this. Love to see it. Easy. Easy. Oh, we've got bots. Go away, bots. That's, that's an automatic ban for me, friendo. Right click, you're getting blocked. And, as an added bonus, spam. Send malicious links. They're already blocked. They're banned. One hundred and ten percent banned. Message how many messages have they sent? One. And it was to my chat. Go fuck yourself, bot! And how cubes behave in different timelines. Now, let's move on to something more interesting. Okay. It's time for me to move on. And Twitch act very fast also. Oh, are we not able to delete messages? I thought I could. Ah. Uh, yeah, I could collect a reply. Uh, created March 7th, so that's not even a new bot. That bot's existed for a while, so they should get terminated. Alright, what's this? Ooh. Portal device. Ooh! Marvelous device will allow you to place three different portals. For now, however, <coughs> I'll introduce you to the concept of portals in different timelines. The time portals will be placed for you. Who am I playing as? I'm playing as a mysterious person. Wait, is this Chell from... Portal? Yeah, it is. It's usually the Chell model. Hey. No, it's... Oh, well, it is, but it's a little bit different, but whatever. Um... Okay, let's do this. I like the new effect on the portal. It, it, it's more glowy. It, it's a big glow up from uh, what we had before. Oh, I'm bumping in my energy drink. Can I have that now, can we? 
Ah, boss. Let's do this. So time portals will be placed automatically for me, but how the hell do I place a time portal? Uh, okay then. So if it existed in the past... A portal placed in the present will appear on the same surface in the future. Yeah, but I don't know how to get over to it. Ah, uh, jeez. Ah, jeez. I mean, I could just fall down here and be like, hey. Hey, love to see it. Nani. Okay, is this the present? Wait, I'm up here. Ah, uh, oh heck, we. So, in the future, the portal is meant to be here. I'm guessing. So if I go, if I do this, yay, hey, a portal placed in the future will not override its existing location in the present. That's interesting. Good. I kind of like what they're doing here. But also when. When. Let me place time portal. Oh, so it's, it's literally the. Uh, why? Why this? I thought we go up. E. Okay, wait, so this is the way out. Right, 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 I see, I see. I see! Ooh! Bowden's dying. The decay of this facility over the past 20 years may have caused the destruction of some portal surfaces. Try to find a way around this. Okay. Ah! Wait, can I portal over there? No. Um. Okay. Uh, 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 Jeez, look at all these surfaces. Good lord. So I'm, I'm like at this point. <sighs> Alright, let's see. Oh, pardon me. So I kind of shoot a portal through it. I see, right, so that part over there with the number seven is not... This is what I want. There we are. Let me just do this. I am functioning, I swear! Oh, pardon me. They want me to traverse out a map in different time periods and... ...do things. Oh, pardon me. Right. So that's how I get back to the middle. So, click. 
We. And then there's also this over here. To which, if I do this, go back to the future. Weird step to say, I know it. Nanny! What? But I placed the portal in the future. Or I placed the portal in the past, which it should have appeared in the future. What BS is this? Oh. Whatever. So I actually do have to go over there in the past so it shouldn't be that much of an issue it should be a kind of non-issue right so all i have to do is this but then why did it change in the future it shouldn't have Uh, okay, let's do this. Which it didn't call my por my portals exist, so uh, they exist at two different spaces in time. I may actually have to cancel the blue one. <sighs> Uh. Yeah, so they they both now exist here. I'm looking good. Yeah, look at that. I can see the past portal in the future. But the past portal is also at the same location as the current portal. Uh, as the way I left it in the past, but there's also this portal here, which is different from that one. Or is it? No! Oh my goodness, what the hell is going on here? Oh, I... Never mind. Never mind! Oh my goodness, this is so fucking trippy. Right, I need to re-familiarize myself. One, two, bang. So what I need to do is I need to come... This has to be the one of the last areas that I visit. Before... I do a thing. Alright, so... I need to make sure there's a portal... Over here. I also need to get over there, so there's that. Uh, let's just do that. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, the portal's dead over there. The, the, yeah, th this is a puzzle that needs to be finished in the past. So we need to be able to place a portal here. Um, yeah, where's good in the past? So that's not our way out, so we can use the orange portal, which is right click. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why? Why you do this? Ah, jeez. Okay, there we go. That shouldn't affect the past that's happened in the future. Alright, so... Orange, let's go and try and get our asses out of here. Why, though? Oh, wait, it's not... Ah, uh, jeez. 
Right, so that portal has to be there. Uh, right. I am 100% missing something here. I am literally 100% missing something here. I really am. Uh, let's do that, then do this. Let me just disable all portals, which I can't seem to do. The portal should exist in the future as well, as so it's a place to pass, but whatever, portal logic. Uh, I need to yeet myself real quick. Because it'll reset all portals within the li the full level. And because... Disabling them... Disabling them in the future doesn't do anything. The decay of this facility over the past... 20 years. 20 years. of some portal surfaces. Try to find a way around this. So if we do this, I do this, it works, but it's really buggy. Alright. So we need to be in a position where the portal is over here. But we can also still get back to the future through again. So... E. Wait, th this needs to be finished in the present. So we need to find a way to get ourselves back. So now back to the present, let's do this. Let's do a thing. We... We. So now in the present, we should be able to put a portal. Now, yeah, uh, if this was in the present, we'd be able to get ourselves over there. But I don't think I'll be able to. So the portal there gets broken if you go to the future. And it'll still allow you to put other portals down, which I, I, I as a portal player don't agree with, but... Whatever floats your boat! So if we do this... And it works. Okay, so it has yeah, it's finished in the present, but end up at the end of future. In exactly the same location in both timelines. They can only be placed on surfaces which are intact in both the present and the future. This new portal gun is actually quite cool, by the way. Momentum-based traveling through portals. You go in fast, you come out fast. Simple enough. Okay, so the future is where we need to be at. So essentially, we need to jump down somewhere. So let's do this. Yeah, yeet! Touching the material emancipation grills will cause any ordinary portal to fizzle. Time portals are not affected. If a portal oh, let's get to know. In the present, it will also close in the future. So think about where and when to pass through them. Uh, okay. So it hasn't changed in the past and the future. So that that's that's kind of good to know. The, these puzzles are actually harder than the basic puzzles that are in Portal Mills. Like to start off with, I mean.
Oh, this, this music's kind of banging, not gonna lie. I like it. I like it. Okay. So it wants us to fly. Alright. I don't know how the hell we're gonna get that done. Because that's still there in the past and the future. Ah, uh, there's a time portal that opens up there. You can only open one time portal at a time, but this one's crucial to us. So, yeah. So we're meant to ch we're meant to get up there somehow. <sighs> so for now, goal one is to try and get up here and see what that bloody hell is all about. I don't know how, because we have to get up there. It's momentum-based traveling. Momentum-based puzzles and... Wait, am I missing something? Wait... Wait a second! We... Ow. Okay, not quite. Right, so the X is up there, so we have to travel. There, we have to do this. Yay! Yeah, hey. I kind of see how this works. Because it's, it's just going to immediately throw us out there. And then we're going to be like, what the fuck? Yeah, yay! Yeah. Okay, guess not then. Because that's going to be no help. Uh, we... Because uh, if it were, then we could just fall down, put a portal and whoosh! Right there or something. <laughs> okay, this one's about brain racking. Ah, sugar. Ah, uh, okay, let's try this. Hey, and we up here. It just seems that you have to get up there to, to do whatever you need to. Which is fine. Why is there a time portal down here? Is that just to have a look? Because I could have shooted you. It's not necessary. But how are we going to build up the force? Use the force. How are we going to build up the G's for that? I'm, I mean, we can we can jump from somewhere high and be like, Leroy Jenkins. Like that, that's kind of place. Jumping from here to there would have instantly got us through there. But uh, not this time. We yeah, it's not gonna be enough. Uh, how the hell are you gonna build up momentum for this though? I am very curious. Interesting. It is super interesting to me. Hey! Oh, this one's open in the future. Well, that is as well. Uh, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. 
That is also still like that in the future. Nothing, nothing's really changed, so... How the hell? How the bloody hell are we doing that one then? We. How the... Hmm... This one may be, be a wee bit concerning. If we place a portal in the past and we find a way. Wait, 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 well, well, boy. This one has to be done in the future because if you have two portals in the past, you can also place additional ones in the future. Oh, I think. I think. Alright, uh, let's do this and this. No. That was a bug that happened the last time that let me place portals in the future. Um, or what if we did this? Hmm. Cause we, we have to build The momentum and you, you could prompt well. Uh, I'm assuming you could just use it like that, uh, jump down there, pop out through there, and be like, hey, let's have a look. So, if we place the portals in the past, we should be able to change the location in the future. I'm, I'm trying to big brain this, but it's not going to work because uh, you can't travel through portals that are in the past and the future as well at the same time. But, if you're able to get to a location where you can drop down and be like, hey, up oh we. There, I don't see a feasible way of me being able to do this. In all honesty. Ah. Uh, not unless I was able to drop myself from like there. Wait, can I even do that? Yeah, I can't do that. We There's no feasible way. Hmm. Which is interesting. Yeah, you yeah, there's portal, or there's a portal block and force field in the same place in both timelines. Um, ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba 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 uh, Yeah, <sighs> my brain isn't functioning right now. It's not as if. Uh, yeah, I, just, I can't just pop along and do that. Hey, oh, wait a second. Wait a second, I'm gonna big brain this. I am so gonna big brain this. I 
I'm gonna fat brain this. My brain's functioning again. One second. So if I can get myself on there and then fall off down here, I should, with a portal here, be able to build up enough momentum to get myself through. So we need to put a blue portal down. Ah, balls! That would have worked. That would have definitely worked. Hey, up! Oh. Nah, no, but like, see, see this, uh, that, that could have worked. Yeah, but I'm just not able to shift myself fast enough to fall. Like to shift my body weight enough to fall down there. Plus the gap between the gap would mean that I would fall down here and I wouldn't be able to fall backwards enough. Yeah, buddy, this is interesting. It's all hell. Oh, I thought I could I literally thought I could have fat brained this. What if I fell No falling from here is not a good option. Yay. Yeah, there's too much of a, a thing here. Wait, unless it wants me to fall from there through there. Uh, is, this, is this a fat brain moment? Can I move myself fast enough? No, I can't. Okay. That idea is sorely out of the question. Yeah, yeah. Wee. I even killed off the portal in the future. That's annoying. Wait, 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 wait a second. Oh, the ideas. Yeah, yeah. The ideas are coming to me now. Wee. If I am not mistaken, and a lot of the time I am mistaken, I could just jump down there and be like, hey, up. Oh, it still wasn't high enough. Okay. I don't know how to solve this one. I genuinely don't. <sighs> F that If that portal blocker wasn't there I, I probably could have done it <sighs> Um at this point, I genuinely don't know. Wait, what's the ceiling like? I'm assuming the ceiling is going to remain the same. Let me try this real quick. Okay, let me check the ceiling out. Nah. There's no feasible way. My mind can't figure this one out. I thought I could have big brained it by slipping off of here and falling down. Because in theory that may have worked. But if you look at the angle that you fall off at, it just wouldn't work. That would have to be back a little bit more than that for that to happen, or for that to work. It does mean I have to pop out there in order to get to where I'm meant to be. But unfortunately, I can't do that. I don't know how. Yeah, yeah. We. 
And if it's propulsion, I am on. I'm actually unable to do the thing that I'm meant to do to do a thing. See, if the portal surface was over there just a little bit more, I could have fallen out of here. If this portal wall wasn't here, I could have then, or this for that matter, wasn't here. I could have used momentum to turn myself to look around to fire a portal here and then f flee or fall out of there, out of here, and be like, hey, that's that done. However, these tests, these test rooms are both the same in the past and the future. So I am currently unable to do this. It's uh, somewhat unfavorable for me to do this. Yeah, ye yeah, I'm currently unable to propel myself through the air uh, far enough. Uh, maybe the solution lies in the future. I'll have to keep an eye on that for on that one for that one. Hmm. Okay, what if the solution is to f be flung out here, down here, and then pop out here? That would be a fat-brained move, but it could just work. So I need to be able to... Uh, I need to be able to fall, but I need propulsion to push me. So... Yay, yay! What happens if I do... Yes. Oh no, that would kill the portal. I wouldn't be able to do that. How the hell do you solve this then? Let me go to the future and find out. Or see if there's any smidgen of a hint. Because currently, I don't know what the hell. Uh, this is troublesome. There, there's no current solution. There's... Like, broken glass up there, but you can't break through. Propulsion just seems to be the same as anything else. Uh, let me just do this. This. You didn't see that. Yeah, yeet. As far as I'm aware, they're all the same. As far as I'm aware, they're all the same. So, uh, I don't know what the hell to do. Like, I'd have to look at a gate for this one. Is there even a gate for this? Let me have a look. Because this one is actually difficult. Put a reloaded file guide. Yeah, these are all really good room for. No fucking pictures. Find a device that will let you create portals, create a blue portal at the top and an orange portal at the bottom and go upstairs. Okay. D, the white sheathing, create one portal and go down below, create a portal and a pit. 
jump into it from above to fly up to the ledge above with acceleration, go upwards, go to the upward facing casing at the side of the barrier to create a portal to the center of a certain color on it, not the same as the pit. Jump down, enter the time portal, and look to the far left of the pit. There would be a sloped sheathing, and create a blue portal there, and jump yourself through the pit. What? Aw, oh, are you fucking kidding? My answer to it was kind of right all along. It relies on making portals of the past from the appear of the future. You jump through them. And bada bing, bada bing. Uh, it's, it's the same basic propulsion system as they've always had. Look to the right behind the steps, remote control of the type portal, walk through it, look up. See the white sheath and create one portal on it. Sheathing green ceiling. Yay! Yeah, yeah. Get a portal on the pit, jump into it from above in order to fly up to the ledge above with acceleration and go upwards. So we want must we do this to go to the ledge. Because that's the ledge and bada bing bada boom. Go to the upwards facing casing at the time portal look to the far left of the pit. Uh I mean the wall. See, that's the trouble here. The person that's writing this isn't very good at writing things. So I'm like, uh, you know, you know the whole buffering with the dial-up though is like, like I think that that's me right now trying to read this. Bad of the red. There's no pictures either. So walkthrough-guide.com. Ah, oh, you kind of need to update with images, thank you. There's also spelling mistakes. Instead of like a C, it's D. I look up D, the white sheathing. I think they meant ceiling. So let's start from. Let's start again. Load last save. We could do this with a guide. So, I believe... Oh, fuck right off. Right, we're gonna have to start... I don't know how to start the level again. There's no way to die on this level. Ah, uh, can I be playing? Oh, great! So we're on room eight. Wait, that's just gonna wait. Reload. Load the previous always save. Starts a new game. So we continue playing portal, time portal. No, 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 no. See, we're not onto lasers yet, or aerial faith, faith plays. You mean face plays? We're not onto any of that yet. I, I kind of need my character to die, but I can't do that. Because here's the thing: it loads the last auto save, which I don't agree with. There should also be a load game option. Because now I can't remember if I was in the past or the future. I mean, at this point, it probably doesn't matter, because the guide doesn't specify! The guide is also bad. Uh, but I do believe we're in, we were in the future, so let's go to the future. It's time for us to go to the future. Yay! This is not like YouTube. Alright, where the bloody hell was the in inside door? So we're coming through here. Did a thing, did a thing, we're through here. Right. Look to the right behind the steps. 
ว่าโอเวอร์สตีพอร์ตวอล์กทรูและลุกอัพดีเดอะไวท์ชีดิ้งครีเอทวันพอร์ตลานิดสีดีสีเลยกดไปบล็อกและครีเอทพอร์ตลานด์เพทจัมป์อินทรีฟรอมบัฟในอร์ตฟลายอัพทูเดอะลัจอัพบัฟวิดเอ็กซ์เซลเรชั่นกูอัพเวิร์ดเฟซิงเคซิงเฟซิงเคซิง Who wrote this? Why were they so bad at writing this? Uh, yeah. It's annoying. Go upward facing casing at the side of the barrier. Create a portal of a certain color on it. Not the same as in the pit. Jump down, enter the time portal and look to the far left of the pit. There will be a sloped sheathing. Create a blue portal there. And yourself jump into the pit with the orange one to fly higher. Create a time portal by clicking on the red button. Enter the whole room at the top left. There should be a blue portal you created earlier behind a barrier. You jump into the pit with the orange portal and you'll be able to fly onto the left with exit. What the hell? Who wrote this? Who wrote this? So level eight. Yes, this this is, this seems to be better written already. You need to start at the present tense. Stand near the pit and look up. There is an inclined slab above it. Create a blue portal on it and an orange one in the pit. Jump into this orange portal in the pit and fly up to the ledge where there is another slanting surface to the side. Create a blue portal on it. This is already ten times better written than the trash from walkthrough gates. Okay. So the one, the article says to start in the present, so we will do that. We will oblige because they're not some freaking idiot that can't write an article. Okay, so we're in the present. Stand near the pit and look up. There's an inclined slab above it, which is this. So, put a blue portal on it. Place what? Place an orange portal in the pit. And we go up here. And there we go. Fly up to the ledge where there's another slanting surface to the side. Create a blue portal on it so that the orange one doesn't disappear okay this is a very simple so it must mean this one disappear jump down without hitting the blue barrier click on the red button at the time portal ah so this is useful okay so we're gonna we're gonna go to the future Okay, so my portals are still here, which is good. Create a blue portal on the inclined surface on the far left corner and yourself jump into the pit. Okay. If you enter the time portal, create a blue portal on the inclined surface on the far left corner and you yourself jump into the pit on the orange one to fly to the place where another temporary portal was created. Created and go now. What? So what's we create a temporary portal here? Ooh, it's kind of nifty. How about a jumpy seven to the pet? With one, I want to fly to the place where the other temporary portal was created. Create it and go now. The portal behind the blue barrier should remain, and then and you should just have to jump. But this will give you more momentum and allow you to fly to the exit ledge. We. Outstanding. Okay. That one was super simple. 
But you know what? That first guide. Let me let me bring up their name real quick. Walkthrough-guide.com. Whoever wrote your article did a horrible job that features so many errors. It wasn't that easy to follow nor understand. It really wasn't. Now this stream is actually going to be quite brief tonight, so we're gonna we're gonna progress just a little further. And then I will tell you my thoughts and feelings on Portal Reloaded. There's pardon me, there's there's one or two things that I don't quite like. Actually there's only one real thing that I don't like. And we'll get onto that. All the essentials. How about shooting some time portals of your own? Ooh. Let me shoot them. Wow. Uh -oh. Wow. Wait, couldn't that um, puzzle be completed in the past or the present? Like, they're both the same area. I mean, you could just easily place them. So we're going to get onto the main drink of the evening. For a stream like this, isn't it? It's an old favourite of the channel. Um, both this and the YouTube channel. It's uh, Iron Brew Sugar Free. Why sugar free? Because sugar in drinks is a bit on the garbage side. There's no real need for it. Okay. View is the aperture science time portal activation force field. This field will activate. Hey. To shoot time portals, it will not fizz your portals or destroy cubes. That's cool. That's cool. I like that a lot. I like the time portal a lot. Beam me up, Scotty! Uh, what? Why? Did I break it? Uh, I think I meant to do the thing. Great. The oh, really? That's, so that's BS. That's a trap and a half. It really is. Good luck. So oh my goodness. While shooting three different portals. I'll cut. So if that's our exit, we have to get up there. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be momentum based. It uh, probably can't. I mean, you could probably go with the path the stack cube or something. What is this? Oh, it is momentum based. Wait. Uh. Hey! Love to see it. <laughs> ah! What? Sir, that is some bullshit. I don't like it. Uh, what is the path? What's the future like? Show me. Or oh, the present, I should say. Oh, it's a little bit cleaner. 
Ah, ha, 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 ha. Okay. Okay. So let's do a thing. Thank you. That should be there in the future. So I can just go to the future, the portal should still be placed there. Yeah, yay! I swear I'm not always an idiot. So yes, orange portal above there. That that can also serve as a good reminder uh, as to what not to do. Wait, why? Why am I not getting the momentum for it? Nani? Wait, is that a different angle than before? No, it's not. Whoop. Uh, I am very curious as to why. Oh, why? Okay, so I'm going to have both cubes up there and then we have to get ourselves up. Okay, so... How the bloody hell did you get... Mm. Okay. Okay, that's gonna be difficult. Uh, first of all, I need to practice getting myself up there. So I land here. Which, with the velocity that I was going at, I probably could have done a bit better. But whatever. Well, that's what it is. Unfortunately, we're we're like at hour twenty, and I for one, <sighs> I don't want to have to rely on a guide all night. So, yeah, yeah. Plus, I have what I have one or two things are uh, still left to do for tonight. So, there's also gonna be that. I have to chop this down a little bit. I mean, actually, yeah, I might just chop this down. I'd be like, A. A. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Okay, let, let's go back to my menu. Oh. I am not even touching the window. Okay, let's go to my menu. So, what do I like about Portal Reloaded? Almost everything. It is what it is, really. It's an overhaul mod for Portal 2. It's an overhaul mod for Portal 2. That's what it is. And that's what it's always going to be. Um... Graphically, it's the same as Portal 2. Very pretty. It's got some nice shadows to it. Not to mention. Not to mention. <laughs> that time traveling portal. The future portal. The one that allows you to go between the past and the, f the present. Um, it's kind of an odd setup where a lot of them. In order to progress, have to be completed in the future. It would it would make for um something. It would make for a good uh premise if if the if the puzzles were designed in a way where you had to be in the present to solve them all. You go to the future for aid, and the aid and with the aid you come back and you're able to do the puzzle. Like you're able to place a puzzle in the past and the future to do a pu and to do a uh, to do a puzzle. 
Like time time portal, you go through it. You generate a block. You generate a a, a, a companion cube of the past, and it spawns in the future. And you're able to you're able to use that to complete the task. Uh within the past or the 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 present in this case. So you've got the the cube generated in the past. It's also then the future, but you're also able to take the future version of the cube back to the past to complete the task. The same the same thing could be done with like lasers and platforms and all that. It would be ideal it really would be in a, in, a, in a sense because well it, it's all it's also nice it's also neat that the ai will still remember you but what hap what would have happened if aperture labs wasn't there you there was just like nothing what if you went to the future and there's nothing I know, I know they say that it, it was Aperture Labs is like designed for all of this. But like what if something went wrong and there was like nothing there in the future? It, it would be really, really weird. There, there could just be like a, a, a loose portal block and you step out into it and it's like, ah, I'm like dead now. Or there's, not, there's nothing else there. At the same time, the whole concept of traveling through time and all of that, it's just a good thing. But it is what it is, really. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this. What are failing me right now? It's a combination of being tired and just a number of things. I will bring Portal Reloaded back. I, I could sit and play that for hours on end. Um, What do I not like about it? There doesn't, there doesn't seem to be a difficulty option. There really doesn't. Oh. Let's go back to the game again. So you've got portal mode, but there's like just start a new game. It's it's one difficulty. It's going by this. It seems to be one preset difficulty where like portal stories males had advanced, which I accidentally wandered into by mistake. That is my fault. <laughs> Maybe wondering how I got to that part, but or came across that I was in uh, advanced mode. Uh, so after after booting up Mel's for the first time in a while, I just clicked continue playing, and it started me off from the beginning of the game. It had no warning that it shoved me into advanced mode. I'm like, hang on, I remember these puzzles, but they're like several times harder than they used to be. What the hell is going on here? There's an update that fixed that or something. Or changed the difficulty. And then I found out later on there was an advanced mode. I'm like... Ah. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah. This, this is very fun. So the things I don't like about it... Right off, right off the bat, I, I've already, I've already mentioned that I don't like the fact that you can't pick a difficulty. I would like to experiment with an easy mode, a normal mode, and an advanced mode. I would like to see the same puzzles through through those difficulties. But at the same time, there's there's no real load game option. In essence, that the fact that you can't Load from a certain point is kind of disturbing. So if we if we went to continue playing, it just says load the previous auto save. There's there's no option there to go ahead and pick a save, 
We do, however, have a map selection. So we we had like lasers and all sorts of excursion funnels finale. What's this? Oh. Oh yeah. Um. There's multiple there's multiple maps within each of these. Human storage vault. Ah, uh, you're given one or two tasks there, a few tasks here, one or two tasks here. And then when you get to portals, type portals and all that. But there, there's like no load game function. There's no proper load game function. There's only load autosave. And I don't recall ever seeing a restart map. So let's, let's go back and let's try and reload. Let's try and reload every single thing. So that's a thing. Yeah, so... Even when you get into it, if you somehow are able to soft lock yourself, uh, you only have the option to load the last save. But that's not good. What, what if someone soft locks as the game is saving? They're they're now stuck there because of the auto save, which I frankly don't agree with. Yeah, ye. Yeah. Ugh. I kind of wonder though, what would happen if I chucked a cube up there to pass? So if I did, I lose. Oh, for God's sake. Well, whatever. Never mind, I'm too tired. I've been doing a bunch of stuff with modding all day. Well, not all day, but some of the day. But my, my point still is stand, there's not an option to reset things. I do remember there being able to uh, reload saves and all that. Uh, for mails and even for base portal. But this mod has done something extra. Now, I'm pretty sure the devs are more than capable of adding a load game option that doesn't require you to load an auto save. Uh, actually, that really felt, let me test out something real quick. If we, if we could continue playing, we haven't actually made a save yet. So we save, yeah, you save game slot. There's two of them. There's now four. Last save. Do you want to load your last save? Yes. But if we go to like main menu, there, there probably is not an option to load. Yeah, as you can see here, load the previous auto save. So the save function is pointless. It's broken if you're unable to actually pick your save and you have to rely on the auto save. Ah, that's, that's my like gripe. Yeah, so to reiterate, there's no there's no way to pick your difficulty as far as I'm aware. So portal reloaded, new game, it just starts a new game. There's no option to pick an easier version of the map. There's no there's no option to pick a harder version of the map if you want an even bigger challenge. So j just to reiterate, there's no there's no way to pick your difficulty. There's no way to properly load a save which it, it's almost a game breaker because I like to be able to save on my own and then pick up where I left off like a day or two later and the autosave might put me in the wrong spot or, or whatever 
It's just a personal grape that I have. That's literally all it's... It's not enough to kill the full Portal Reloaded experience because, don't get me wrong, this is a very nice game. Portal's been very nice, Portal Mills has been fantastic. Portal Reloaded is just simply so good. It really is. Jumping between timelines, using different timelines to solve puzzles and all that nonsense. Time travel in its own right is just fantastic to me. And to have a game that does things in a way like this is just... Ooh, fantastic. So, to the developers, if they ever see this, I don't think they will because, you know, no one ever checks out my content, so whatever. Big shout out to the developers for this. They can do better. It's a little bit... Eh, right now. It's still fun and entertaining. It could use one or two minor tweaks. That's about it. So, this has been GTA Raj Gaming. If you enjoyed the content, a follow on the Twitch would be fantastic. Twitch.tv slash GTA Raj Gaming. And if you're watching this back as a bot on YouTube, um, well, if you're, if, you're, if you're watching this back as a bot on Twitch, uh, it's YouTube.com slash GTA Raj Gaming or youtube.com slash gta rads 2 if you want to check out my music content um yeah if you're on youtube and you want to help support the channel feel free to become a channel member by clicking the join button i am very tired right now so i am off to do tired raj things so stay safe take care and we're we're back. What, what are we doing tomorrow anyway? I've, I, I, I've kind of forgotten. I've kind of forgotten. So let me let me remind you and myself what we're doing tomorrow. Uh, so if you want to keep up to date with all the things that I'm doing, um, Twitter GTA Raj Gaming, a uh, YouTube GTA Raj Gaming. But that's not all. That is not all, my friends. That is not all. What are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, tomorrow is Naruto. Naruto Shepard and Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. So, if you want to see me get my ass kicked in, a, in uh, an anime game, then feel free. Feel free. Anyway, this is GTA Reg Gaming. As always, stay safe, take care, and I'll see you tomorrow.